the new school of Lancaster and today I wanted to talk to you about something that is getting to be kind of old-fashioned. Hmm. Do you know what that word means? Old-fashioned? Yeah it kind of means like something that people did a long time ago and they don't do very much anymore. We call that old-fashioned. So this is still something people do but not as much and before I tell you what it is, I'm going to sing you a song and then hopefully you can figure out what it is. So this song I really love and it was from a CD that my children played over and over and over and over and over again um, when they were young and that was a long time ago. So today I learned the song and I hope you like it and you want to learn to sing along too, okay? It goes like this. When you mail a letter Send it anywhere On foot, by truck, by aeroplane The postman makes it there So write a letter to a friend Maybe she'll write you No matter what you always know The mail must go through Well, the mail must go through The mail must go through No matter liked that song it's kind of catchy and I've been singing it all day um, and so did you figure out the thing that I was talking about yeah it's mailing a letter and you know what made me think about this so one of my students Vivian sent me a letter this week and here it is here's the envelope that she sent it to me in and here's her letter I was so excited it's really fun to get mail in the in the um, in your mailbox. So, before I talk about this, I have a book that I like to read when we talk about letters. So, this is a book that I read to my kindergarten friends. It's called Dear Mr. Blueberry. And in kindergarten, we always practice writing letters. And so, if you're in my kindergarten class, you'll remember this book. But it's a really fun book, so I think you'll like it again. So, this is called Dear Mr. Blueberry, and the whole book are just, uh, um, uh, it's just written in letters, okay? So there's, there's the person, and you see he's writing in, or she, it's a girl, her name's Emily. Oh, and this book is by Simon James. So it looks like, can you see it? It looks like he's the author and the illustrator. He did the words and the pictures, okay. Um, so I might hold it like this for you. Let's do it like that. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I love whales very much and I think I saw one in my pond today. Please send me some information on whales as I think he might be hurt. Love, Emily. Dear Emily, here are some details about whales. I don't think you'll find it was a whale you saw because whales don't live in ponds but in salt water. Yours sincerely, your teacher, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I am now putting salt into the pond every day before breakfast, and last night I saw my whale smile. I think he is feeling better. Do you think he might be lost? Love, Emily. 
Dear Emily, please don't put any more salt in the pond. I'm sure your parents won't be pleased. I'm afraid there can't be a whale in your pond because whales don't get lost. They always know where they are in the oceans. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, tonight I am very happy because I saw my whale jump up and spurt lots of water. He looked blue. Does this mean he might be a blue whale? Love, Emily. P.S. What can I feed him with? Dear Emily, blue whales are blue and they eat tiny shrimp-like creatures that live in the sea. However, I must tell you that a blue whale is much too big to live in your pond. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. P.S. Perhaps it is a blue goldfish? Dear Mr. Blueberry, last night I read your letter to my whale. Afterward, he let me stroke his head. It was very exciting. I secretly took him some crunched up cornflakes and breadcrumbs. This morning I looked in the pond and they were all gone. I think I shall call him Arthur. What do you think? Love, Emily. Dear Emily, I must point out to you quite forcibly now that in no way could a whale live in your pond. You may not know that whales are migratory, which means they travel great distances each day. I am sorry to disappoint you. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, tonight I'm a little sad. Arthur has gone. I think your letter made sense to him and he has decided to be migratory again. Love, Emily. Dear Emily, please don't be too sad. It really was impossible for a whale to live in your pond. Perhaps when you are older, you would like to sail the oceans, studying and protecting whales. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, it's been the happiest day. I went to the beach and you'll never guess, but I saw Arthur. I called to him and he smiled. I knew it was Arthur because he let me stroke his head. I gave him some of my sandwich. And then we said goodbye. I shouted that I loved him very much and I hope you don't mind. I said you loved him too. Love, Emily and Arthur. The end. So I wanna show you, I showed you the pictures, but I'm gonna show you one of the other pages. So here you can see, this is the letter that Emily wrote. So at the top, it has the greeting. It says, Dear Mr. Blueberry, that's her teacher. So that's the greeting. And then she's gonna write what she wants to say. And she was talking about um, seeing him in her pond. And then at the end, she has her name, Emily. And, but before that, she wrote, love, Emily. And that's sort of the way we can end our letters. Some people might say, sincerely. I think her teacher always said, sincerely. Yeah, so see, he said, yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. And so that's the ending of this. So he's got the greeting, the body, and the ending, the closing of the letter, three parts. And so I really like that book. I wonder if there really was a whale in her pond. Hmm, I wonder what you think about. The other thing I like is this. Do you know what this is called? This is called the postmark. So on a letter, when you write a letter and you're getting ready to send it, so, um, let me show you. So for instance, I wrote a new letter to Vivian, okay? And so I'm gonna put on the letter a stamp because without a stamp, they won't deliver your mail to the person. The post office needs a stamp on it. So I have a sticky stamp here and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up. It always goes on the top right corner of the envelope and so you can see here is a, an envelope that I got in the mail today. So somebody sent me, I don't know, it's kind of junk mail, which is not really something that I wanted, but you can see up here was their um, stamp. And then there's this on the top. This is the postmark. And that means that it's gone through the post office and I can't use that stamp again because it's already been used. It's kind of the way that they can tell you um, a little bit of information about where it came from and that you can't use that stamp anymore. Okay, and on here is my name and my address, but this is actually my old address. 
because we moved and so I have this yellow bit down here that has our new address on for the mailman to know where to deliver it at the right spot. And this is the person that sent me the letter um, and the address that it came from. So those are all the things that go on the envelope. Okay, so I've got my letter for Vivian that I'm gonna send out in the mail today. I'm gonna put it in my mailbox and so she can get that letter. It's um, a return letter, just like Mr. Blueberry did with Emily in the book that we read. And so maybe today you would like to write a letter to someone that you know. And you know, you can kind of see, find Vivian's again. So what she did is she had her mom write down the words that she wanted to say, and then she wrote me some things as well on there. And so that's always a great way to write a letter if you don't know how to write a letter. Um, and she also drew me a picture, which is great. And she sent me a picture of herself too, but I have that somewhere else. So um, yeah, I hope you can think of someone to send a letter to. And maybe your grandma, or your grandpas, they really love getting mail. And maybe if you send a letter to someone, they'll send a letter back to you. And then you can open your mailbox or your mail slot in the morning and you'll have a surprise. Wouldn't that be nice? You'll have to let me know if you get some mail, okay? Have a great day. Bye.